Right, how do you think how we do? We are back with the old trailer. Got T7 on it at the minute. Um, yeah, so we made a good bit of progress in the last video. Um, and we are now on to stage two. Now, stage two, um, I did say it was going to involve heat, but actually, initially, it's going to involve our nine inch grinder. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this section out here, because that's cracking there anyway. I'm going to cut all that out uh, and cut it off there so it's not attached to this front eye beam. And then I'm probably going to cut it just there, that bit there, and the other side, just so that, that bends back easy. And then hopefully, I can, when, when that's out, that's cut, this will all bend up and get it all flat. I can then straighten that in the press and get it all welded back together well hopefully we should get nearer the gold anyway that is the aim so we'll get the old grinder out and take this bit out I've just got a little bit of steel under there that's just holding A to B. So I've just got to cut that through and all. Then that'll, that'll all come out. All right, so that is all cut out now. Cut that there, I've not yet cut inside. I may still have to. Um, yeah, I'm wondering now if we pull on there again that should be a bit more forgiving there's a bit of luck Bloody hell, we are actually in line now. It just, just curl, curls off a little bit this end, but only a smidge. The bottom's not so good. But yeah, you look along that top, you'll see. Up in the sun. Keep it down a bit. That's as straight as a very straight thing. It's just the bottom we've got to oh, do now. I should think. No, we haven't actually closed that up yet. Just folded that bit out, that's bug, I'm not worried about that. Just need to get that bit more of a tweak. We'll get in there. Now we are getting close. That one's a still wants another nudge. <laughs> you had an Eve it. That is looking pretty damn square. We've got, oh, we're, I mean, we're holding that up at the minute, but that's straightened out as well. If I crowd it down a bit so that we're not holding that up, that should just come a bit more. I dare say, we've, we enclosed it right up, but we've reduced it to half that width. Oh, we are getting there. We are getting there. Damn fine now. Uh, just the 
power the load a lot. I mean, we are. I think we are actually pushing the tractor a bit. But that is. I think that is blooming good. I'm going to take it off now, and we'll see how straight that is. See if it comes back at all. But I think we're about there. coming off really isn't it then we'll see better I think yeah it has sprung back a bit we do just need to give that another another nudge right so we are actually very nearly there I just need to rotate this bottom bit and this top bit if possible but as you can see we're flat there that is sort of straight um, but it's lovely and straight along the top and indeed the bottom. Actually, you know, power, it's parallel that way. So we've just got to just try and just get it sort of flat again. And uh, yeah, good way to kill a 24 inch um, adjustable whistle be, I think, but I couldn't quite get the leverage with just the adjustable itself. So we'll see how we get on. Basically shit or bust really. God that is some that's some fair tough metal that is. Going on to there a bit. God, blind out rightly. We are moving it. We haven't broke the adjustable yet. Uh, I, some, I know a bit of heat would, wouldn't go amiss, but we actually haven't got any sort of oxy on site. We've only got the portable, you know, the little bottles where you screw a um, an igniter in the top. We've only got them, which are good, but. You know, they don't get this sort of metal hot enough. But of course I could go and get some, but before I get on. Oh. Yeah, we are making progress. It is bouncing a bit, but we are making progress. Yeah, not too bad. Back to there, where it's a little bit on it. Good test of the old adjustable anyway. Is all going, believe it or not. Oh, 
I don't think that is too bad. I have got a bit of a sweat on there. Yeah, it's not perfect. Oh, we've got to go up this side, just down there a little bit and up there. But the bottom is not too bad. Probably a bit of work with a sledgehammer or just straighten it out. But that is blooming good. Right, I'm just going to just try and drop that down a bit and lift that bit up a bit. <laughs> yeah. See, I think that blooming sun right in the wrong place, isn't it? But I think you get the gist. That is, well, bloody straight. If I do that, you might see a little better. Yes, we've got to wonk on there a little bit, but I'll be able to hide that when I put the side rail back in. We've still got a little lift there, but that I ain't too that ain't too bad at all. I might just drop the loader on it a couple more times, but that is I'm not too worried about that. I mean it's nothing really, is it? Then we've just gotta either straighten that uh side rail or I'll just make a new one. Um although it is a bit of an odd one because it's got like the channel in there. I would like it to match, but you know, it's not the end of the world. So I can get some 10 mil steel to box that back in, make it all look good anyway. But I mean, look at it. That looks, yeah, like I say, that one's just, I can just see that. That one's old sledge on that, but just to take that little bump out. But that is bang on, I reckon, bang on. Just gotta, like I say, just uh, get out of the sledge Weld the section back in, the side section. And I think we can say that is sort of then, that's then fixed. We can then get the headboard on. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, vid. A bit more pushing and pulling and sweating on my part. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!